<laughs> hey guys, this is Carl, and I'm here at Glendale Airport, and I'm gonna go on a flight lesson today. I brought with me my brother-in-law, John. This is gonna be one of his most fun flights ever, because I'm, I'm flying. <laughs> I'm scared already. No. All right, guys, here we are. Um, so yesterday, the pilot didn't show up. The plane was there, and so I guess we just didn't get to go flying. So today, I'm over at my home airport. Behind me, you can see a Transpac school on all their beautiful aircraft. But we're going flying with a different CFI. Okay, so today we're flying around in this guy. He's a 1976 Cessna 172N as in November. My overall impression of the plane when I first saw it was, wow, that's an old one. I mean, just look at this stack. The seats were this weird green and brown, and with the original radios and no GPS, I wondered if this thing could even fly. But it had dual sunroofs and you could see out the back, so I decided to give it a chance. Now this, this is Jackie. She's an awesome old lady that just loves to fly. She's got over 8,000 hours, she's CFI, CFII, and MEII certified, and she even won the FAA's Flight Instructor of the Year Award. Needless to say, she knows what she's talking about, so I thought I'd give her a try to see if we're a good match. But enough of that, let's get flying. Throttle to quarter inch, or eighth of an inch. Yeah. Now is that out here and just push it in just, just a hair? Just a hair, yep. Like right about there. Propeller area is clear, ignition switch to clear start. Clear prop! Okay, here we go. Now for the next few minutes she trained me on a couple more things. Then we got the ADOR support and we were ready to go. Let's taxi down here. Valley Ground, this is Cessna 73626 at Romeo 5 with information whiskey. We'd like to taxi to the active uh, southbound. Cessna 73626 to Valley Ground, say direction departure. Uh, southbound, sir. Cessna 626, Romeo 25, left taxi via Charlie. 25 left via Charlie for 626. This 
is the kind of stuff that brings out wind shears. And if we get in a wind shear, we're coming right back. You got it. If it'll bring down an L-1011 in Denver, it'll certainly do a number with us. Okay. Woohoo, okay. I don't like the airspeed we have right now. Honestly, we should not be that high. We should be more like 76. Wind speed 208, Okay. Yeah, we're bouncing all over the place on that wind. Yep, but see, our airspeed should not be that high, and that could be indicative of a wind shear. Yep. We should be at 76 for the power and the pitch we've got right now, and we're not. We're way uh, at least 10 knots, maybe 15 or 17. Okay, let's, we're over 1900, which is 400 AGL, so let's turn and make it nice and shallow, okay? Okay. Nothing real radical. Start to feel a little bit better. Yeah. So, so you can continue down the runway if you'd like, turn left, Charlie 7. We'll go Charlie 7, this is 7 8. I like the radios up here, they're nice and clear. They are, for being 77. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and we're going to go over here to Squaw Peak? Yep. Alright. Still climbing. So the two of the nature left Charlie 7, Jackie straight ahead of the ranch today. Charlie 7 straight ahead of the ranch, 7 8. That's much better now. Yeah. So my ultimate goal for today's flight was really just to fly around and get a better feeling for flying and the controls of an airplane. Our plan was to fly south over Sky Harbor, have an introduction into Bravo airspace, fly around Gilbert and Chandler, and then return to Deer Valley Airport. What I got was something completely different. The word for the day was wind shear. Wind shear is the difference in wind speed or wind direction over a short distance. In our case, the wind seemed to be changing directions all over the place. It was a struggle just to stay on heading, let alone keep the plane flying straight and level. We had talked about the possibility of wind shear on the ground, but I was sure that I was up to the challenge. I wanted to experience it in a safe environment with a qualified CFI. Let's just say I got exactly what I bargained for. I learned a ton about flight dynamics and how to control a plane, no matter what the conditions. It was an amazing experience, but before long, things started to get a little crazier than we anticipated. straight and level now we're getting a descent so we're now we're in a downdraft and wind shears this way and wind shears this way okay i think i'm going to have us go back phoenix approach. Carl. That's not a problem. okay phoenix approach 626 626 go ahead we've gotten a wind shear a couple of times a plus 15 and a plus 17 and since we're a 172, I'd like to turn around and head back to Deer Valley, sir. 626, that's approved. And if you can, uh, make a climbing right turn to 5,000. Will do. Climbing right turn to 5,000 uh, for 626. Okay, give us power. And ball in the center, you're doing fine. Standard rate turn, it's just a nine 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 shallow one. Whiskey Sierra, contact okay. Lucabo 125.45. Good evening. 125.45, 197 whiskey's here, we'll see ya. Barely feel that wind. Yes. Now we're, we're not headed. covered over the ground very fast. No, we're not. <laughs> Beautiful. So it was at this point that things really started to get bumpy. So bumpy it turned off my front facing camera. We flew straight back to Deer Valley Airport and lined up as best we could for a landing. I'm leaving the unedited version of the landing that my brother-in-law shot from the back seat, just so you can see how windy things were. And on slips, yeah, crosswind landing. It's actually a controlled slip. Okay, so we've got two lights out there. That means that we're still top high. Yep, that's okay. Okay. I don't mind a little extra. Okay, let's get that nose get down. Get that white line right underneath your seat. Sort of push. Uh, a little bit more Doesn't power. Like header, but... I don't like that. Let's get it up. I like to be about 70, 
and then 65 short final, but then when we got winds, half of the gust factor, and they don't literally mean gust, if it's 20, keep an extra can on, okay? Okay. Okay, let's just have a look. Okay, let's just have a look. Okay, let's Okay, we may land a little long. That's okay, fine. Okay, right rudder, left Ooh. wing down. Whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, back on the power a little tiny bit. Okay. Little right rudder, left wing down. Opposite rudder, that ball will go out of the center, but that's okay. 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 Keep some power on. This is one of the landings we won't be hitting the stall horn. We can get some gusts right there by that open ramp. Okay. Recheck. Okay. Just let me know when the drop is power. Yeah, come back you on the power. Keep your hand on don't in case we need it. Okay. How far back? I'll wait. Idle. Okay. okay, it's going to seem awkward, but we got to keep that nose oh, straight. Look at you. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Keep that wing way down. I know it seems radical. we got all the runway we need. Yep. Back on the yoke. So 66, turn left Charlie 3, contact ground point 8. Charlie 3, thanks. Ground point 8, 626. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like the video below if you liked it, and leave us a comment on what you thought or would like to see on our channel. If you really liked it, click the subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook to be kept up on what we're doing and see other aviation related things. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on our next adventure.